Hello, it's Nick, and today I will show you how to create light and dark modes in Figma using color variables. It's important to mention that you need to have a paid Figma plan to create two color modes. Free Figma plan allows only one value per variable. Suppose we want to create a dark mode for this simple card. The card contains an image, text and star rating. All colors are defined as hex numbers. Let's create a copy of this card. This will be our dark mode version of the card. Let's tweak the colors. As you can see, there are only three colors to choose from. The first color that I will change will be the color of the background. I click on Select item using this color to ensure that I'm changing the right color and then click on the color box to change the value. I want to choose a dark, almost black color for the background. Next, we need to adjust the color of the text. Choose the almost white color for the text. I don't want to change the third color, color of the stars because existing color works well both in light and dark modes. So we've got two versions of the same card. One is light and another one is dark. And now is a perfect moment to create our variables. Click on local variables in the right side panel. Right now we don't have any variables. So let's click on the create variable call to action and choose a color from the list. The first variable will be a color of the background. Change its name and set its value. I will use a color picker and simply pick the color of the background of the card in light mode. Since we have two modes, each variable will have two values. So let's click on the plus to create another value. And to make things a bit easier, change the name from mode 1 and mode 2 to light and dark. And we need to set the color of the background for the dark mode using the color picker. Ok, now we need to create a second variable for text. Click create variable and choose color, change the name to text and use the same approach for setting values for light and dark modes. Let's also rename the collection. Give it a name theme. Before moving to the next step, double check that you are using the right colors. This is basically a visual inspection where you select objects and check the colors of the object in the right side panel and the colors of your variable. The next thing after we create variables is to assign them to UI elements. Select the card object, scroll down to the section with colors and click on the style icon next to the color you want to assign a variable to. You can see that we have only two colors in our library. And since we are assigning the color of the background, we will choose the first option. Once we do it, we will see that the colors is no longer a hex code but a variable called background. And this variable contains the hex code that we used for the background. We will do the same thing for the text color. So at the end of this operation, we will have two variables and one row value, the yellow color of the star. It's time to test our design. To do that, I will create a frame that will work as a container for our card. The cards are typically a part of the page or section. So the frame that I'm using here is a representation of the page or section. I will give it a name mode. In the fill section of the frame, I will click style and add a new variable called color. This variable will allow me to switch between light and dark modes. Now you see that we have variable color and the new property in the layer section. Once we click it, we will see the switcher between the themes light and dark. To demonstrate how it works, Let's rename this frame to Mode Light and create a copy of the frame with the name Mode Dark. The only difference between those two frames will be the value we select for the layer. The Mode Light will have a light and the Mode Dark will have a dark. When we drag our card to the Mode Light, nothing is changing since the light mode is already in place. But when we drag the same card to the Mode Dark, we will see that the colors of the card are changing to adapt to the dark mode. Let's create a copy of the light card and use it in both frames, in mode light and mode dark. And we no longer need a dark card, because the change of the colors happens automatically. We can safely delete this unnecessary object. Switching between the modes literally happen in one click now. Select the frame and change the theme, dark or light. That's all. Let me know what you think about this approach of using Figma variables for creating UI modes. Thank you.